Larry, come here. Larry, come here. Here's where we're going to start. Start with that guy behind us on referee's position. Okay, good starting position. My thumbs are forward. Okay, I want to keep my thumbs forward. That's a personal choice. I'd like you to try it. I don't like my elbows up. Okay, I want to get my, my, uh, I want to get my pressure back. Okay, referee's position. Everybody knows that. He's starting on position. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pressure back. Okay, I'm going to pressure back. A lot of guys try to go this way. When I try to stand up and go that way, to me, I'm just, I'm knocking him back. He talked this morning about the importance of getting the weight on the hands. I'm going back into the mat. Okay? I'm going to turn this leg up like it's a dog on a fire hydrant right here, and I'm going to pressure back. Okay? I'm going to change him over. Now, he's going to probably stay with me. He's not that big of a whim. Okay? Look, right this way. Right there. Okay? Here I am. To this hip. We talked about compact when we were doing our hip ice drill. Okay? I'm not out here. I'm not right here. I'm one hip. Okay? <laughs> This guy, I, I'm, I'm finding this pressure with my head and shoulders, okay? I can push my feet together here and get enough elevation here that I can hit my down, okay? Sometimes the changeover is good to, to start if, if like the guy starts on your side that you're not, you don't have a very good stand up. When I first started working one, that's what it was. It was a way to get him over to here where I felt better with the stand-up. But really, it's just good for good motion, off the whistle, create something. Get action happening, where you can get into your second, your third, your move, you know, and, 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 and get off the bottom. The, the, you don't want this to be your first move, okay? Right here. Just rotating, pushing off the hands here. Pushing, finding this pressure, okay? Finding this pressure, pushing, pushing, pushing. Right here, okay? Right here. Now, all I'm gonna do, everybody knows a knee slide when we're on our feet. When we knee slide underneath, when we get extended on a shot or something. Right here, I'm gonna do a knee slide back this way. My hand here, okay? Which, by the way, thumb pointing out, elbow in, not here where he can chop it. Okay, right here, he can't chop that arm, okay? Right there. I'm gonna slide my knee back to it. And when I do, I have to have this foot pointing back. If it's like this, he takes me, I don't have a post here. Okay? So when I, when I build back, when I reverse knee slide into him, it's right here. And I'm, I'm strong here. I'm not grabbing hands. I pinched his hand. Now, he's, he's going to push me up, basically. I'm driving up. Right now, right here. Cut away. Move into the guy. Get aggressive. Always looking to okay, get up in his cup grip, close that space. Yeah, get up in his grip. Right. right. Okay? You need to see the changeover again or you have it. Okay? We basically did it with the hip heist. We did it. I got your guys' hips moving. Okay? Right here. I'm gonna push back into him. Find his pressure. I'm not going away from it. I'm find his pressure. Here, here, pushing, 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 pushing. Right here. See my head pushing me out. Really, I mean, I can nice down that way. Okay, right, right now. Elbow in, pressure back. Up, up, up. Cut away. Questions? Can you do it? Hey, you guys are getting a little bit sleepy. I know it's 93, 94 degrees out. We got the fans in here, it's still hot. Getting a, bit, a little bit of sleepy though. Come on, we gotta fire it up. Fire it up. We gotta get fired up. Let's go. Come on.